Hey guys, how you doing? JP Sorry, Kolia here. Masters of the Universe Revelation. It is a series that I was highly, highly anticipating since the moment that I saw the announcement, I saw the first trailer, I was all in. When I knew that Kevin Smith was the one directing it, I was like, yeah, I'm all in. Because I think the guy, you know, knows what he's doing. So I'm telling you, now that I watched the series, I watched the first five episodes of the first season, I can break it down for you. The good and the bad. What I like about it, what I didn't like about it, and ultimately, I can let you know if I think this is the best adaptation of the source material or not. So in the next couple of minutes, stay tuned. Dig good. The first thing that we need to point out that I really enjoy about this series is the visuals and the art style. I think, of course, it pays homage to the classic characters from the get-go. You see it. I love the animation. Well done. Well executed. Throughout the five episodes, which are not long, but I think they did a good job in bringing those characters and the representation of uh, even the toys. You, you see a lot of Easter egg. The action is fluid. Of course, the characters now look more modern. So there's some changes to it. But for the most part, it pays homage to the classic characters, the classic cartoon. The second thing I enjoy about this show is the soundtrack. I was surprised by it because most of the time, you know, in this type of shows, the investment is on the visuals. Uh, and the soundtrack is not as good, but definitely they did a good job. And that's something that I would say Netflix does well, is that all the, the shows, they have great soundtrack. And this show is no exception. But besides the visual references and the Easter eggs, which are a big part, an important part of this type of adaptations, and in this case, the series does a good job on that, I feel that this show excels or, or it tries to excel on expanding on the lore of the masses of the universe and also on secondary characters. Characters that in the past were relegated to secondary, uh, pretty much background characters. And maybe we saw in one or two episodes here and there, or there were only toys. Now they are on central stage. And also characters like Orko or Cringer, Tila for example as well, they become important in the story. And, and they do things here that really bring gravitas, emotional gravitas to the to the whole storyline, to the series. And I like that. I think the attempt is there, and in that they did not fail. The bad. Now it's time to talk about the bad. Yeah, I just mentioned the good. That doesn't mean that the show is perfect. And there are a lot of flaws here, a lot of flaws that I need to mention. First, from the get-go, the show completely deviates from its classic design and storyline, which is the biggest disappointment. That's the reason everyone is upset with Kevin Smith, because from the get-go, from the first episode, it throws everything upside down. And the whole storyline becomes totally a different story where, and I gotta probably, this is gonna be more of a spoiler here. He-Man doesn't, is not the center of the story. And that is the biggest disappointment because that was not what was actually presented through the trailers. And this is what it really draws the biggest criticism here. The change is really abrupt. The change that happened in the story here, if you haven't watched it, I'm telling you, be prepared for that because it's going to, I want to say blow your mind, but it's going to really hurt your feelings if you really are invested into the classic storyline. There's no warning. It just happens. It changes totally. And it becomes a story where definitely the secondary characters are at central stage, particularly Tila. And again, I'm going kind of spoilery here. And... It definitely, it's kind of sad. It is sad because the whole premise of the story from the get-go, it was built on nostalgia. It tried to build on nostalgia, but at the same time, it tears it down. You know, And that's one thing that is a fatal flaw for a lot of people. And expanding on that point, I'm telling you, this show has a more sinister, a darker approach to the classic storyline, to the classic lore of the masters of the universe. And that could be a problem because... This show, and this is the part here where I feel that there's a lot of darkness going on. There are deaths happening here. You know, some characters die in the middle of the show. And again, this is a weird part because the show, it's technically targeting a broader audience. They're targeting children with the toys. And a lot of parents like myself that grew up watching the original cartoons, the family friendly nature of the cartoon. So, you know, we, we come to watch it because there's nostalgia there and we bring our kids because we want our kids to enjoy what we enjoy growing up. And all of a sudden you're served with this show that supposedly from the get-go stars as, uh, you know, portraying the classic characters and all of a sudden everything changes. The heroes that were heroes before are no longer heroes are in the backstage now 
and now you're even the evil guys now they're on the good side so it changes everything it transforms the whole story and it makes a story that in, in some ways it does have the sense of masters of the universe but it doesn't feel like masters of the universe most of the characters that are the central stage now are the female characters in the story so in some ways it, it comes across as political pondering and that's the reason a lot of people are hating on the show because a lot of the changes here are not within the terms of what we understand of the masses of the universe. So I feel that in some ways they could have done a totally different story or even just in another season changed into this particular storyline. But no, from the get go, they are killing the masses of the universe as we know it. And they bring in something totally different. In conclusion, what can I say, guys? Uh, I'm disappointed. I was disappointed. And it's sad because part of me wants to love the show and in part of me likes some of the actors of the show but unfortunately even though it does have the feel and the look of the masses of the universe it doesn't feel and it doesn't come across as masses of the universe it's a totally different storyline with masses of the universe in it and, and that's disappointing um i would say it from the get-go they wouldn't be honest and they say well this is not this is a match of the universe story, kind of like an origin story or something like that, even though it's not an origin story, but this is a story of Tila. And I'm here telling you straight up, if this was Tila at the center of the story, then definitely would have been, I would be okay with that. You know, I'm not, I have no problem with that. I love when there's the, every character get their own storyline. They could have done this pretty much said the normal match of the universe in this first season. And then in, in pretty much second or third season, they start changing and going more in depth with different characters, or they do a series that pretty much comes out of the series. That would have been perfect. You know, a Tila solo story would have been perfect, but they, they didn't do that. And from the get go from pretty much over a year, they've been talking about Masters of the universe. They've been talking about this will pay homage to the classic cartoon that they will respect the source material and it doesn't do it. So that's the reason why it's so hated right now. And the reason why it goes in infamy and it will go in infamy. I'm telling you the 2000 show was a lot better. So if I have to give this show a final score in my book is a 6.5 out of 10, which means it's above average. And that's because the art is good. But ultimately, this story leaves a lot to be desired, and that is unfortunate. But what is your opinion? What do you think about it? Have you watched the show? Have you enjoyed this series? Do you disagree with my point of view? Let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button to be reminded of the next video. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The links are down below. And please consider supporting the channel financially through Patreon. My friends, God bless you. Take care, and I will talk to you again. Bye-bye.